Hey everyone, so today I want to show you how I made this card. So this was a card that I made in one of my craft tool videos recently and somebody had asked how I made it. So I'm going to do a tutorial today on how to make it. It is quite simple. So there's not, you don't really need any folding as such. So what you are going to need is you are going to need some kind of um, card blank. I'm using a 5x7 card blank. So this is my 5x7 card blank. Um, if you haven't got a 5x7, use a 7x10 piece of card and just score along the 10 inch edge halfway at 5 inches and make it into a 5x7. So you're going to need that. You kind of need it to start with uh, folded up ready because then you can use it to place your layers. So what you're going to need is you're going to need in total seven pieces of matte card that are one and a half inches by five. OK, and then you're also going to need seven pieces of pattern paper that are one and a quarter by four and three quarters. Now, I'm using my um, Pretty Posies pack because I thought I'd, I wanted to revisit it. I haven't used the wood grain and I haven't used this one yet, so I thought I'd go back to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stick these onto my matte pieces. Okay, so I've ended up with, I've got three of these and I've got four of these. So I'm going to bring my card blank back into place. Now I know that this needs to be, this is the centre pattern. So I'm going to take one of my pieces, make sure it's the right way up. I think, I mean it doesn't really have a right way up, but I think I'm going to go with that way. I'm going to turn it over and just put it onto my card blank. I'm not going to stick it down, but I just want to see for placement purposes. I'm also going to take my ruler. And I'm just going to lay that along the top just so I can kind of see. So I know that obviously seven, the half of seven is three and a half. And so that is central because halfway there is three and a half. So that's good. So now I'm going to take two of these pieces. Then I'm going to take this one and this one is going to go with, I'm going to make it so that it fits at the top. So I'm going to make sure the top is right. So I've got the top married up. So that point at the top is going with the top there, the top corner. And at the bottom here, I'm just going to make sure that this edge comes and just crosses over where that point is. I don't know if you can see that point. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make um, draw a pencil line on here and on here. And then I'm going to put some tape on there. Now, the other thing as well that I think we need to do, and I discovered this last time, is on. So I've drawn my little line on, but on here, on this piece here, excuse the motorbikes outside you want to make halfway at three quarters of an inch at the top and three quarters of an inch at the bottom and just draw a little line you're not going to see any of these lines because you're going to be sticking all this onto card blanks you do end up with quite a bulky card there probably is a, a better way easy way of doing this if you know what the easier way is then please go ahead and do it you know the easy way so this is going to go on here like this this is going on like that and then what we want to do is I'm just going to, because I've now drawn that line, I'm just going to put my ruler back on and I'm going to draw a line on this piece here like that. And also along here, although well, I'm going to cut that off afterwards. But what we're going to do is we're just going to cut up this so that then we don't end up with extra bulk. Otherwise you end up in the centre here, a whole load of bulk. So if I just cut down here like that, then that now, as you can see, when I stick that down, that's going to fit like that. This bit here I'm going to trim off in a minute after I've stuck it, because I find that's a bit easier to do that way. You can trim it before if you want, but I just think it's just a bit easier just to trim it after. So I'm going to go ahead and add some uh, tape onto here. I'm probably going to use glue, actually, because it doesn't matter if it takes the print off, because it's going to be facing. The print's going to be face down anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some tape. You want to put something that's sort of quite strong. It's not going to be, um, you know, it's not going to fall off. You could probably get away with double sided, but um, yeah, you want to go quite, quite strong. So then we just want to put this in like this, just move it over like that. So that's like that. I'm just going to turn this over. Try not to get glue on your thing. And then at the bottom here, I'm just going to take this and just trim it in line with the bottom of that panel. So I'm going to turn it back over again line it back up again take another one 
and we're going to repeat the same thing again so that's going to need to go like that this one needs to go at the edge the bottom needs to line up with that edge so like that and then i'm just gonna again just gonna cut through if you wanted to you could put these two pieces back to back which would then mean you wouldn't need to draw your line again i'm not going to bother with that line on the back because i know that i'm gonna be doing that in a minute i'm also going to draw my line up here so i can see and then i'm just going to cut down here if you want to use a guillotine to do it you can also the other thing i would say is do not go too thick with your mats so the mat that i'm using here this purple glitter glittery type card is actually a i think it's like a 180 gsm so it's nice and thin so you can see there where that's going to fit like that cut that bit off afterwards so again i'm going to go ahead and add some glue onto here again as i said you could add tape i'm gonna add a bit of glue onto here and then i'm going to take this piece and pop it into place so that at the top you don't have any you don't have any bit any gaps there at the top and then we're just going to turn this over and again, I'm just going to cut this excess off the bottom. So that's the, the first part there. So now what we're going to do, and actually what I did on my original card, I actually shrunk it down slightly, so I actually left a bit of a gap, and I've forgotten to do that here. I might still be able to do it, but I might have, it might be no, it's stuck now. Okay, so the next one, I'm going to make it come down a bit further. So let's bring this onto here. Now, I think with the other one, what I did was, yeah, brought it down a little bit. And I think I also brought it, oh no, it's pretty much on the edge. Okay, so we're going to go with this pattern again now. So this is going to go, I'm going to bring it down a little bit. So like here. And then we're just going to make sure that it's again here is about right. And I'm also going to make sure, in fact, I'm going to bring it in a little bit more. Otherwise, what's going to happen is I'm not going to end up much left of that other one. So it's just a case of just jigging it around, see what you think. So this is now, if I make it a quarter of an inch, let me just make a little mark on the back here. I apologise for any shadows. I've had to shut that curtain because the sun was coming through. Um, but it means now I've got a dark, shadowy desk. Okay, we're going to go with that, and then I'm just going to take my ruler again and just do that, and then we're just going to make a little thing there like that so we can see where we're sticking it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this section off, and then add some more glue just to that bit area where we've put the pencil line and then we're going to take this piece lay it on and just stick it down turn it over and then we're just going to trim that last bit off that we don't need like that so now the trick is to get the same distance so I've got about half an inch. So I want to do about the same here. So I'm going to come down. I mean, you can do it all by eye if you want to, but I like mine to be, you know, exact. I'm just annoyed I didn't do this bit here. So we're going to take the next one, which is this one. Again, turn it round. And then what you want is, again, you want this to come in about a quarter of an inch. That's going to flip all the way over there like that, kind of to work out why this looks like an acuter angle than that but maybe it's not maybe it's the same so it's going to be about there i reckon it's going to be about there i think we're going to go with that so let's draw draw a line there and then we just need to do this center line 
So as I said, there's going to be easier ways of doing this. I could have, again, put these two pieces back to back because they should be the same. But I didn't. So there we go. So now we're going to trim down this pencil line. Like that. Add some glue on here. Now while you're doing this, you should make sure you don't put glue on your card bank below. I'm playing this a bit risky. But... It's fine. So that one's going to go on there like that. And those two meet in the middle. We'll flip it over and just take a little bit off the bottom again. Oh, the sunshine's come out again. I just opened the curtain again. I've had to shut the curtain again because the sun's come out again. So anyway, right. <laughs> so we got that so far. So then what we want to do, now see this looks bigger than that, but it should be the same. I don't know. So then we're going to put this back on again and again and for this bit here you really need to make sure it is definitely central so let me get my ruler out yep so that three and a half marries up there that's fine cool so then we take these two and we're doing the same again but this time what we want to do is we want to bring it down sort of the same gap we did there so about there we want to make sure this point doesn't go past the edge and we want to make sure that that goes and crosses over there so a few things to look out for. So I would say probably about there up there and about there, I think. Let's just move that over a bit more. And that can go like that. Yeah, so I reckon about there. You could go down a tiny bit more, which will give you a little bit more there. I think we'll go with that. So we're going to draw down here, I'm going to take my ruler, draw a line like that, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut this off and then I'm going to do what I keep advising that you do but I haven't actually done yet and I'm just going to flip this over to this side and just see if that's going to work or it is going to work on that side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one, put them back to back and I'm just going to cut down that to save me the bother of trying to match them up again. So that's like that. And then this one will go, oh, hello, scissors. This one will go here like that. Just make sure it stays within your size. Don't worry about the bottom because we're going to trim that off in a minute. This one should then go here so that makes it a bit easier if you do do them back to back it does make it a bit easier there we go like that so let's just put some um glue on these again you could use tape if you wanted to and i'm just going to glue both of them at the same time there we go and then take that and stick it down so there's that side and there is that side like that okay let's flip this over and then we just need to trim off these bottom sections here So you end up with that. So that's not quite as fanned as this one because I forgot to go down here. If you go down at the top, it makes it a bit easier. But anyway, it makes it a bit more fan. But it's fine. It looks okay. So then what we're going to do is get our car blank. Make sure it's top folding. Take your um, fan. Lay it on the front. Make sure that it's butted right up against that top edge. And then you're just literally going to draw around it. So you end up with an outline. So if you want to, you can open it up and just cut around the front and have that back piece as a solid rectangle. Or if you want it to be a true, just complete, you know, fold, then you can just go ahead and cut along these lines with your um, with your card folded together. So that's what I'm going to do. As you're cutting as well, you want to make sure you're cutting inside of that pencil line because it's better if this is a little bit smaller 
than you want it to be rather than being you know you don't want white edges around the outside unless you do want maybe you do want white edges if you want white edges then you can leave yourself a little border but if you don't want white edges then just cut inside of that pencil line okay so you end up with a card blank that is like that and you've got the top fold at the top and then you're going to go ahead and just stick this on over the top what i would do is lay it on first just to make sure you've got rid of all the edges that you need to get rid of which i pretty much have i've got a little bit one there but it's all right it's not too bad it's not too bad so then we're going to go ahead and stick it down now again if you want to you can use um double-sided you want to use something quite strong because you will find that your front piece is quite thick okay um so you do want to i mean mine I've, as i said i've used a bit less thickness on this one my my mats are about 160 180 something like that and then the pattern is um 120 so it's not too bad whereas on my previous card it was thicker the actual mat was a lot thicker so we're going to go ahead and stick that down if you use wet glue then you'll have a bit of wiggle room and you can kind of press it into i mean just to make sure it's all in the right place it's all kind of lined up so that is like that. And then all we need to do now is go ahead and add a sentiment on it. So I went ahead and cut out a birthday greetings and stuck it down. And so that's it really, that's all you need to know. So it's really quite easy. Make sure you go and check out um, the my Etsy shop. I've got loads of digital paper packs over there. Um, also, please like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Leave a comment down below. And yeah, I'll see you again next time. Bye.